Today is Monday and today I'm going to be going to uh, another couch surfer's place. Right now I'm at Jorge's uh, place right now, but uh, I'm going to leave around 3, which is like in 2 hours. Look at this buddy. Shop. So this other couch surfer that I'm going with is... Uh, that's my food. Uh, she's in Miraflores, where I used to be, so I'm gonna go back over there. I feel way better. I was really sick for the past three days, but last night I got better. I think it was the flu. Not really sure yet, but I'm still waiting for the visa. God, I hope it doesn't take that long. Cause if it takes the two weeks that they say, that's that's such a long time. I don't even know where I'm gonna stay, cause I'm only gonna stay with her for three days, and then I got nowhere else to stay which I'll probably just go to a hostel again. So, it's just a waste of money and time. But we'll see, hopefully they do make it quicker than two weeks. I'm really hoping for that. So guys, I am back in Mira Flores. Uh, I took a bus and it took so long to get here. It took an hour and 40 minutes. And I told my couch surfer that I was gonna meet her at five. And I got here like at 5.35. So I gotta now find uh, gotta find the Wi-Fi around here so I can connect and send her a message and see where to meet her now. I kind of feel bad because she was waiting for me at five. Guess where we are? It's the cat park. Call this cat. All right. No, but actually it's not called a cat park, it's called a uh, Kennedy Park. So guys, I talked to my host and she's gonna be able to see me now at 10 p.m. So it's around 7, so I have three hours to kill. So I came to this McDonald's, the one that is like in the center of everything. So pretty much I'm here because the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna get free Wi-Fi here for two hours and then I'm gonna go to uh, Starbucks. <laughs> I am I'm, uh, researching things on the web for, uh, for Brazil because here's the thing, I am actually kind of nervous about going to Brazil for two things. First of all, I don't speak language, that's, uh, you know, the whole Latin America I just did, everybody speaks Spanish, so, and I speak Spanish, so, but, you know, Brazil I don't really speak any Portuguese, I've taken lessons, but, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, I've been to India, China, and you know, they didn't speak uh, English either, but uh, here I don't know. Well, it ties into the second thing, is that I don't have that much money. So, I'm gonna be pretty broke in Brazil, so broke in Brazil without knowing the language. Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting, but it's very, uh, not nerve-wracking, but it does, it's gonna be very stressful. That's that's correct way to put it. It's gonna be a stressful trip through Brazil for sure. Guys, I'm gonna show you this website. It's uh, from the Brazilian government, and it's pretty cool because it shows you like the status of your visa. So it got sent. It's been analyzed uh, when they approve it and when it's ready for a pickup. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, but um, hopefully this only takes like one day and then another day, so then it'll be ready by Thursday, hopefully. So I'm now with my couch surfer host, she's the girl on the taxi and this is her friend. What's your name? Uh, Diego. Hi. Diego. He's drinking this Inca Cola. Inca Cola, yeah. Like... Which is by, it used to be made by Peruvians, but Coca-Cola bought the brand. Like yellow. <laughs> A little bit sweet. So yeah, yeah it looks like, uh, what's that drink? Oh wait, we're oh, living, so yeah. nevermind. But that's in Coca cola and it yeah. tastes like bubble gum, yeah. <laughs> Check out this view, you guys. This is uh, Lima. And it's foggy right now, but... I am now in Claudia's place, which I haven't introduced her, and that's Claudia. Hey. Hello, Claudia. Yeah, these three are like from typical uh, gastronomical things, uh, cacao, fish, uh, uh, typical fish from Peru, and choveta, and this is quinoa. So, so as you guys can see, they have collections to you here. 
Yeah. They started it like two years ago.